parks and programs accessible for all to enjoy. Recreation and fitness opportunities that result in good health and well-being. Acting as stewards of our precious environment. And fostering partnerships and alliances that promote our parks. Chicago parks are your parks. I'm General Superintendent and CEO Mike Kelly. Welcome to Chicago at Play. Northern Island was created in the early 1900s. Northern Island was the northernmost island that was created from a plan of Chicago by Burnham that was supposed to be the northernmost island of a string of islands in Lake Michigan. This Northern Island was the only island ever built, and since it was built, it had many uses. Uh, there's been, you know, it started off as a park, then it was created for the 1933 World's Fair, then it was converted into an airport, and now it is a park. Northerly Island is one of the most scenic areas along the lakefront. A new plan is in place to restore even more natural habitats and create a better space for residents to enjoy walking, running, and camping. There's been a long planning process. Uh, in 2006, the community meetings started to happen as far as what people wanted to envision the park at. And we had a lot of good ideas. And in 2010, we uh, finished the community process and we came up with a Northern Island Framework Plan. The Corps of Engineers is very excited to work on the Northern Island project. It is a premier project that is in the heart of Chicago and it's going to restore 40 acres. We partnered with the Chicago Park District under their Framework Plan of 2010. Um, we are going to be restoring 40 acres uh, on the southern part of the island um, under our Great Lakes Fishery and Ecosystem Restoration Program. In the summer we have over 200 kids here in day camps. That's going to continue. Uh, we have polar adventure days out here where you could dog sled, you could do ice sculptures. Uh, you come out here and see migratory birds. All of that will continue to happen, but it's going to happen at a greater scale. What's going to be happening out here in the future that's not here now is we're going to have a pond that's going to allow for habitat to happen. There's also going to be a trail, the trail that you see going all around the park today, that will continue to happen. It will continue to be a training ground for Paralympics athletes. It's going to be for triathlons, strollers, for day camps, for anyone. This restoration project includes creating six different habitat types that were here prior to the Chicago metropolitan area being developed. We are hoping to break ground in the fall of 2012. It's a five-year contract where the first year of the contract will be heavy construction and the subsequent years will be planting and establishment of the, the restoration, the native planting. As with any construction project, a portion of the park will be shut down to the public for a year, year and a half while construction goes on. And in that time, the northern part of the park is still going to be operational. The changes to the southern part of Northerly Island will bring more opportunities for urban camping. The Chicago Park District is dedicated to teaching residents the basic skills needed to enjoy a night under the stars. Camping is one of the more exciting events that will be happening at Northerly Island. It already exists today, but with a new topography, there's going to be hills, there's going to be additional trees, the pond. We really wanted to focus more on camping out here. Uh, it's going to feel like you're actually out in the woods as opposed to a flat strip of grass. It's an opportunity for families to come out, step away from their normal environment of home and really enjoy a park district park like you can't any other time of the year. Um, this is the only way you can camp out in the parks is with our family camping programs. Last time we were here we saw a snapping turtle about that big. Okay, so we're going to keep, keep an eye on where we're walking. The family camping program is designed to take residents out into nature, exploring the parks in ways they've never done before. Most of the families that come here are first time campers, so we provide everything that they need and um, teach them how to set up their tent, how to build a fire for cooking, those skills that are really essential. And then we give them a sleeping bag to take with them in the hopes that they take those skills and the sleeping bags and go out on their own to camp with their families. We're doing fishing, we're doing bug hunts, um, tree identification. Uh, we'll do a night hike to look for creatures of the night. We teach them how to make a fire in order to cook and we teach them how to build a fire and start one without using any matches or lighter or any of those modern conveniences. If you are interested in learning more about the Northerly Island expansion or future camping opportunities, please visit our website.
The opportunities for families to come out and camp will be more frequent and in larger numbers. This new expansion at Northerly Island allows us to increase that programming frequency and capacity, um, both for families and for youth, so we will expand our youth camping programs as well. What people wanted to see, they wanted to see trails, they wanted to see native habitats, they wanted to see a place where people get away from it all, but also have a park for people. So we're not just saying this is for the birds, this is for you know, the squirrels, this is also for people to come out here and enjoy themselves.